Okay, so in the next couple lessons here, we're going to go ahead and model the hinge for our uh, our suitcase and actually go ahead and model our suitcase for the car. And we're also going to be modeling the luggage rack as well. And, you know, this isn't uh, really that difficult. We just need to basically start from a polyplane and, you know, just basically go ahead and shape everything the way that we need to. Um, this will take a little bit of time, not an excessive amount of time. Um, I'm simply just going to do, you know, one side here, and since we're going to just, you know, pretty much go ahead and reuse it, and reuse the suitcase for, for all three of them, we'll just, you know, basically model at one time, because it just wouldn't make any sense to go ahead and model all three, or three different suitcases. So we can, you know, pretty much get away with just one, and then rotate and place them as, as we need here. As you can see, I just simply um, downloaded a, a luggage hinge image from Google and uh, just placed it into the background here. And I'm just basing it off of that. And go ahead and make the keyhole here, which shouldn't be, you know, really that difficult. And then we'll just, you know, basically extrude in and then go ahead and extrude down so it has a little bit of uh, depth on it. And then we'll just, you know, duplicate the face here. Um, we're defi definitely going to have to edit the geometry a little bit to, to go ahead and make our keyhole. And the good thing about making, you know, one keyhole is you can go ahead and reuse that keyhole for, for the doors, for the... Um, and for the trunk as well instead of just using it you know specifically for for the suitcase luggage it doesn't have to be you know a, a 100 percent detailed keyhole as long as it at least shows some portion of a hole then you know it, you can basically get away with it because i don't plan on actually rendering the car that close up to the keyhole so you know you aren't really going to see it basically just see where I'm extruding edges and shaping verts to go ahead and make the keyhole here or the locking mechanism and just have to add a couple couple extra edge loops in here so it's going to hold its shape and that and that's all um, hard surface modeling basically is it's just extra edge loops at the uh, at the corners and edges so you know everything is going to basically hold its shape along with you know some beveling or some chamfering if uh, if you use 3ds max and we'll go ahead and make the holes here for the for the hinge base whoops forgot to extrude in there
and I'm just editing the vertex here so that they match the underlying hole a little bit better. I just simply extrude it down on the <coughs> the hinge base here for the for the suitcase luggage so that we could have some thickness to it. And now I'm going to go ahead and fake the bolts with a, a basic polygon sphere. And I'm not going to do this four times, I'm simply just going to make one and then duplicate it so that we can reuse it instead of having to uh, remake it. make sure we add it to its own layer here so that we don't uh, edit it as we model the other pieces. These other pieces are, you know, fairly basic and they're just going to take a little bit of <coughs> little bit of editing to go ahead and make. Just go ahead and <coughs> place it where it needs to be. And we'll go ahead and add some thickness to it here. This way we uh, we have both sides of the model instead of just just one side modeled. definitely save it in the middle here so that in case we ever have a Maya crash we don't have to remake that because we're about 17 18 minutes in here and we don't want to have to go back that whole 17 minutes and, and remake what we just made especially with this because this is um, sort of a, mis a miscellaneous piece but it's still one of those pieces that it's it's very vital to you know what we're doing in terms of adding detail to the car a little bit and 
And this top piece is just going to take a little bit of poly vertex editing and, and moving to, to go ahead and fit the shape of that other part of the hinge. And it's real simple. I mean, it's not anything that's, you know, super complex. It's, it's basically fairly simple. Um, it's just a, a straight poly plane that I've, you know, shaped to, to sort of fit that underlying shape there, the image that you see there. I mean, nothing should really be that difficult to model. I mean, yeah, some things are, but um, in terms of like characters and stuff and in some cases some of them are more time consuming rather than difficult and it's just that you know you just have to take a little bit of extra time to create things and also have to make sure that everything's going to fit here properly I, mean, I don't necessarily have to you know fully detail uh, the hinge simply because we're not going to, you know, be that close to it. We'll have to make a, a, a decent part of it. Um, but it doesn't have to be, you know, a 100% detailed hinge. It just has to look basically like it, you know, can retain its shape and basically look like it can move. I'll go ahead and just extrude the faces in here so it looks like it actually has a bolt running through it just try to place this where it, you know, needs to be placed. As you can see, you can, you know, with a few tools of of modeling, you can go ahead and, you know, pretty much make some some decent shapes fairly quickly. I'm just adding extra edge loops and pushing and pulling parts to make sure everything's looking, you know, proper and nice. model the base for this uh, back hinge part here and I'm just going to simply use a, a polygon plane I'll just extrude it and get it to fit you know proper and nice so that it's going to work for what we need to go ahead and do and we'll 
we'll go ahead and get it in the right place there. And just have to basically add a couple extra edge loops to maintain that edge whenever we go to smooth. also on the side so it's going to maintain its thickness and pretty much uh, we just have to finish up doing a, a little bit of editing here and there but for the most part I mean there's our hinge and I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate one sphere here for the fakeness of the bolt on those just duplicate it over and pretty much there we go tweak these last little parts there's our hinge